The best retirement advice ever from actual retirees. These are the real stories from some of my clients. And over time, it has actually shaped and changed the way I advise people. So if you're thinking about retiring soon or you just recently retired, make sure you grab these seven pieces of advice from real retirees. One of my clients wanted to retire ASAP. We went through their numbers and it was evident they needed to work another few years, but they wanted to retire now. And the most logical solution was to downsize the home since they lived here in California and move out of state. They could get rid of their mortgage payment and they're thinking about moving to Arizona. And of course that has no state tax. So it sounded like a winning proposition. But the only problem is all their family lives in California. And even though we had a lengthy conversation about it, they decided that retiring now was the bigger priority since they could just travel back to California when they wanted since, you know, they're going to have the time now that they were retired. But here's the reality. Even though they had more time, they still saw the kids and grandkids less. Yes, they could travel more, but instead of a 30 minute drive to see family, it was a several hour car drive. And I do see this a lot. My happiest retirees stay close to family, even if that means being in a higher cost of living area and working a little bit longer. Okay, the next piece of advice. I have a client who retired in the last two years or so, and he worked incredibly hard, provided for his family, and he was an excellent saver. I mean, really he did everything right. In the first 12 months of retirement, it was wonderful. He was traveling, visiting with family more, spending more time volunteering at church, but then something horrible happened. He went in for a routine health checkup and they found cancer. I can still see his face when he told me. All he wanted to know was, in our meeting, was if his wife was going to be okay if he were to die. And we went over the plan, made sure everything was buttoned up, and I prayed with him at the end of our our call and you know it was really a humbling experience and although there was nothing he could have done to prevent getting the cancer he did there is a lesson there right you can have all the money in the world but if you do not have your health you really don't have much so take care of your body now don't sacrifice your health in the name of more money because you may just get to retirement and if you haven't taken care of yourself you're not gonna be able to enjoy it. Okay, the next piece of advice is something my business partner, Anthony, always talks about. During the great financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, he was serving clients and he kept people in their seats. In other words, he helped them not sell everything and move to cash. I mean, it literally saved their retirement as things recovered. But not every one of our retirees was stressed at the exact same level. There were a subset of retirees who fared the storm much better, and that was those who were debt-free, including their mortgage. When you don't owe anyone a dime, it's a little less stressful when your account balances are going down. So if you can, do your best to go into retirement debt-free. Your mental sanity will thank you. Okay, the next piece of advice. Are you going to be comfortable on minimum expenses in retirement or do you need something like 10,000 a month, right? You have to decide ahead of time. You cannot realize it in retirement because at that point it's gonna be way too late. And not all retirements look alike. Nearly all my clients want to travel, but what does that actually mean? You know, are you wanting to go overseas? And if so, you know, how often? What are you going to do with your free time? Are you going to do a bunch of things and that costs money or are you going to do like free activities? So if you're not retired just yet, start thinking about your numbers now. And speaking of starting early, this is a quick piece of advice, but it's so critical. Um, nearly every retiree wishes they started investing earlier. It's why our clients want their kids meeting with us because they want them to get started early just like they did. Okay, the next piece of advice. Um, now this is advice from my absolute happiest clients. They're not always grumpy. They're always a pleasure to talk with. It's almost like they know something that we don't. And I'll give you an example. So I have a client who does missionary work down in Guatemala. They help families and kids who literally have nothing. And they bring them desperately needed medical supplies and all sorts of aid. And every time we talk, whether market conditions are good or bad, I know she's always going to have a positive outlook. And I think it's because 
of the perspective she has, right? She sees people who literally have nothing and realizes how incredibly blessed we truly are. She's just one of my many clients who are not just focused on themselves and how much more money they can spend on themselves, but how much more money they can give away and to those who need help. So my advice to you, straight from my happiest clients, focus on others, be generous, and give back. Okay, my last piece of advice, my happiest clients are content with what they have. Yes, don't compare yourself to others in retirement. You might have some friends that have really nice cars, they take lavish vacations and have the biggest house on the block, but is that what your retirement actually looks like? Right, the fastest way to ruin your retirement and happiness is by comparing yourself to others, so don't do it. Now, earlier I talked about paying off debt and it's likely the biggest debt you'll ever have is your mortgage. So should you actually pay off your mortgage or focus on paying off your mortgage if it's at a super low rate, like 3%. Our client made the right decision and you can check out exactly what they did in this video right here. Once again, this is Alex Okugawa, partner and financial advisor here at One Degree Advisors. If you'd like to learn more about our firm and how we help clients, you can visit our website at onedegreeadvisors.com.